Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint this purple hyacinth. This flower is very popular for Easter. It usually has a cluster of smaller flowers on a stalk. Each small flower has six long petals that curves backwards. The leaves are long and white. Before I started painting, I used super light pencil lines to sketch out the shape of the flower, the stalk, and the leaves. I started with a small flower that is in the top center of the cluster. Purple paints are usually very dark. I added a lot of water to make it lighter because I wanted to start with a lighter layer so that later on we can add a darker layer to create texture and more details. Simply draw a small flower with six long skinny petals you can always fix the edge of the petals when they're still wet. The brush I'm using is the Silver Black Velvet size 6. Keep painting more small flowers around the first one. Try to not touching the first flower because it's still wet and we don't want the color bleeding into the first flower. What we're trying to do here is to paint smaller flowers and build up the cluster. One trick to make this look more interesting is by using slightly different colors. You can adjust the amount of water in your paint to create lighter or darker shades. Or you can add in a little bit other color to create different purples. I'm going to speed up this part but take your time to paint those little flowers. Here, I'm adding a small dot to the center of the flowers using a darker purple. If your first layer is still too wet, the darker purple might spread and disappear into the first layer. You can always come back and paint the little dot again when it's a little drier. Now I'm adding a little more details to the flowers by drawing a darker line in the center of the petals so they don't look too flat. Once you reach to the edge of the cluster, you can paint a few petals instead of a full six petal flower because those flowers are partially covered. Also, don't forget to fill in the gaps between those flowers simply by drawing some loose petals. I like to use more muted colors for those petals because they're behind and they're in a shadow. Sometimes I mix a little bit green to my purple for those colors. Moving on to the leaves. For the large leaf, I'm going to be mixing different green colors on the paper. 
The first one I'm using here is the Green Goat from Core. I recently got this color and I really like how vibrant it is. As I move closer to the bottom of the leaf, I started to add in a little bit sap green and paralene green because they're darker shades. Because I have enough moisture in my paint, those different colors just start mixing on the paper and creating this nice organic transition. To mix a really dark green for the bottom of the leaf, you can add a little purple to your green or you can try adding indigo. Use the same technique to paint the second leaf. The only difference is um, I'm using a slightly darker color overall because the second leaf is behind and it's in the shadow area. While waiting for the leaves to dry, I'm going to start painting the stalk in between the flowers. I added a little bit red to my green mixture to make it look more muted. Carefully use the tip of your brush to draw the stock and try not to go over the petals. You can always switch to a smaller brush if that's easier. Here I'm drawing some small short lines to connect the stalk with some of the flowers. After painting the last leaf on the back, I'm adding a few finished touches. Going back and add some contrast here and there and add more textures or even add a few more petals to fill the gap. And now we're done! This is a quick and loose painting and I hope you enjoyed watching the process. If you're painting along and posting your final art on Instagram, please tag me. I would love to see your artwork. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or send me a message on Instagram. See you in the next video. Happy painting!